Welcome to the episode 11, a new start. Today's discussion will be different and difficult. It is the problem of product photography, the resolution and other kind of things will be covered. You know that new models drop like Nano from Google, Quen Edit upgraded version and more. But for commercial application and more control, we will choose Quen Edit. Today I show you a way that is really good if you can make it work and understand how this works. You know, resolution always be a part of the problem. All models are made to generate at low resolution because cost of the high res is like a fortune. There is a way and it is not that complex, but some logical. Here, meet the workflow. It uses Quen Edit and InPainting. I will tell you basics and then some important things. It will be like Phil Dev workflow on video 4. Except that, we have some different strict rules. I put you a note so that you can read to understand how your input image resolution and the masked area affects. So this is the image 1. You should put your environment image here. After you load image, open mask editor and mask the area you want, but area is not arbitrary. It should be a place like there is only one place model can put your object. I will explain it later. After you done first image masking, the second image is your object image. Put your object and mask only the object area. You see here input resolution is like massive here, but it will be resized and goes to the text encoder. The text encoder node is a custom node. It also resizes the image. It is good to have high resolution, especially for the environment. Here you can see two preview image. They both goes to the encoder. The resolution is close to the two megapixels. When you go up, there is a node called text encode quen plus. It has like three image input, clip, and VAE. VL resize image simply resizes your input image to the reasonable size for Quen. Not resize image is to keep your original image resolution. But we will use resize one. Here is the prompt. You should make prompt like this. I tested only short prompts, you can try your luck. But remember that the input image comes from the inpaint crop, so model doesn't know the full image. It only knows the area you masked. Here, there is a target size, is set to 1344. This depends on your PC. It is the resolution that model resizing. 1344 is close to 2 megapixels. If your PC is good enough, you can try 1536. And rest of the settings stays the same. So after you decided the settings, there is in-paint conditioning node near the encoder. And after that sampler takes place. Down there, we have resize mask and three comparison image you can look. Resize mask is to make the mask adaptive because node is resizing the image. Here, first image is the mask. Make sure mask is like familiar shape to your object. Second image is the mask and image together. These are preview. After this, we end at the sampler. Here, you can try SDE type of samplers. Work great with Quinn. I gave you three of them, but mostly use DPM. And model section, I will show you that. Here we have model, clip, and VAE. The model is Quen Edit 2509. If you don't know that, it is simply the upgraded version of Quen Edit, adaptive for especially two image inputs. Next to it, there is a LoRa. It is Quen Image, Lightning V1.1. Honestly, I tried every Lightning LoRa's, and this one looks best to me. It is a LoRa that speeds up the process up to eight steps. After all technical details, let me show you the output image. Also some problems with the stitcher, but it is not a big problem. The details migrated almost perfectly. Texts, logo, and other kind of things. Even the light comes from the other serum bottle. It is like the object is actually there. It wasn't really possible before. Except the fact that Phil Dev also makes it good, but I doubt if it can handle text this perfectly. The resolution is very high. It depends on various things. First, our object is close to the camera. Second, we force model not to use unnecessary resources like encoding the entire image. Here is a comparison at the end. You see here only encoded area is like near the other bottle. So you should paint the area like that and prompt like near the other bottle. And then it stitches to keep other resolutions same. I will show you some examples and some mistake examples so that you can know what is wrong or right thing to do. Here, we have another product migrated successfully. 
but some problems you can see on edge, it is the stitching problem. It is easy to solve with flux fill, like content aware fill, or maybe some Photoshop skills. I will show you how to fix in the future with AI again. These kind of mistakes will happen in your image, but it is worth doing it this way because actually we are getting more details than not doing in painting. Here is one of the comparison. Here you can see I will give you two workflows. The first one is without the inpaint. The other is with the inpaint. First one you also lose the overall image quality. Second image has some stitching problems, but the text and details are more sharp on second image. This leads us to the workflow with no inpainting. This is like you can do all tasks with two image on Quen image edit, not just the object migration. Again, the target size determines everything. It is your resolution. If your PC has great specs, I suggest you to increase and test this. Rest of the workflow is just familiar as in painting one. You can see target resolution if you do preview image. Close to the two megapixels has reasonable quality to do what you are trying to do. But you know model is probably made to be better on one megapixel resolution, so try lower the target size and see what happens. Let's have a look at one result. So the quality drops significantly and the text is messed up because model encoded whole image and used resources on unnecessary things. So as a result of both the input image quality, the eight step LoRa and bunch of things, text got destroyed. You know we can fix it with maybe fill dev, the text and logo part. Sometimes we will use fill dev and combine to get commercial or at least close to that point. I mean quality wise. Before I will show you the bunch of results you can do with this, I will tell you a mistake you can do and prevent that. Also understand a little bit more of what we are trying to do. So, okay, let's make one image in paint example. Assume that this is your image and you masked this area and prompted like, put a man in front of the car wheel. So this task will fail 100%. So why is that? Because the context window is just large and the model can decide the area that is not in masked area. I mean you masked very specific area, but model can decide to do other way. Because model is not in painting model at all. If we give model a choice, which is larger context window, it is likely to do other things and fail at all. Here, look how I masked the area, not even covering whole wheels. Plus, Model have choice to do because this is large input image and this is not we want. In this task, model can decide whatever he wants, but we should not give model a choice. So as a result, what happened? Model changed the area a little bit and did nothing more, but we wanted to put a man in front of wheels. Let's see a more successful result. This time, look how I masked the area. I masked the whole car door in the image. And then I prompted, put a man in front of car door. I covered the whole car door in the image. Make the mask large and little bit larger than the car door. It is parallel to how model will make the change. So what happened in the end? It did make something. It is not empty now. It even succeed at some point. Except you see the head is like cropped. Like the mask is not good enough to cover it. We can fix the cropped area with fill dev or other in painting workflows. It also made hands a little bit weird, so why did I tell you this? Because the in-painting workflow works like this. The input image is a place like you can put the object only that area. If there is an area other than that area, the model can decide to put that area. This is the whole logic. The prompting and the masking should be exactly the same. The masked area should cover where you are prompting. This is the no in-painting result of the same prompt. It resizes the image and downscale the quality, but you don't have to mess with the in-paint stitch. So I hope you understand how important the masked area and prompt is. Now time to see some results I have made for you. The results are from the in-painting workflow. First image, I tried to put the metal can from the fridge to the place we want. I know it is strange task. The result did not really disappoint. In fact, it is amazing consistency, you know, Text and logo is really pain for this. Only small mistakes I can see here. I don't know if we can get it at one step with fill dev. Another one, it is the same fridge. You see here a bottle. I tried to put it, I want to see what will happen in the text. The result is great, 
although the text downside is messed up. Because it was very small in the image and model couldn't make it work, it is like an impossible job. Here is another one. It was like in the first part of the video. Serum bottle. This is the second image which it should be your product image. The first image is the reference place. This is the one of the most impressive output I have seen. Almost get everything right. If you look closely, it is high res. Here, another one. This is another example. Text is a little bit messed up again. But I know why. The first reason is, it is far away and small relative to the camera. The second reason is the environment is horizontal image. But the product image is vertical. It is also effective because Nano Banana also failed on some task I have given him. So what you see in this video is also hard or close to the impossible, even for the best model, so-called Nano Banana. Some people like the virtual try-on. So this is an application of it. But you know, logo consistency is an important case. I value the quality, and I know you also do. You can see here, it made great. Except like some stitching problems. We will look every detail later and fix it manually. For now, it is kind of raw image. Here is another example. Couch and the empty room. Masked the wall area and put it there. So, I tested hundreds of times maybe, before sharing this. In the end, all you have to do is try and discover. Lastly, let me share the roadmap for the product photography. So first of all, we will create an image. That will be with episode 10, 1, 2.2 with Unsampler. This image will be environment image. It'll be an image that is visually consistent. Second, to be visually consistent, we need to upscale image with TTP. This could be WAN plus, TTP, or Flux. After that, we upscale it with Seed VR or some new upscalers that I will present. So after we done everything, we will have high resolution environment image. And then we put our brand object with the help of Phil Dev, Quen Edit, and some in painting. Our image will get the commercial grade. And finally, we will get variant of our image from different angles, some zoom in out and other kind of things. Upscale again and get final series of images. So this is it for this video. Product photography with AI. Thank you for watching. I hope we'll meet again.